Imagine standing on the shores of a vast, uncharted continent thousands of years ago. The sky above is untouched by modern light, a canopy of stars stretching endlessly. The wind carries not just the crisp air of a new world, but whispers echoes of lives, journeys, hopes, and mysteries long forgotten. Every tree, every river, every stone beneath your feet holds a secret, hidden deep within the earth and waiting to be uncovered. For generations, we thought we knew how the story of the first Americans began. A straightforward tale during the last ice age. Early humans crossed a land bridge known as Beringia that once connected Siberia and Alaska. They followed the herds step by step into a new world, eventually spreading across the vast American continents. But the truth is rarely so simple. Recent discoveries, powered by the remarkable science of ancient DNA analysis, are unraveling this linear tale and revealing a far more intricate and compelling story. One filled with unexpected twists, forgotten migrations, and cultural exchanges that challenge everything we thought we knew about our origins in the Western Hemisphere. Let's begin our journey in the heart of Montana. Buried beneath a rock shelter, archaeologists uncovered the skeletal remains of a young child just two years old. This child, now known as Anzaquan, lived more than 12,500 years ago. What makes this discovery extraordinary isn't just the age of the remains but the secrets they carry in their DNA. Genetic analysis showed that Anzaquan shares a direct ancestral link with modern Native American populations. This was one of the strongest confirmations of the Bering Land Bridge Migration Theory. It suggested that some of the earliest people to arrive in the Americas were indeed from northeastern Asia. But the story doesn't end there. As scientists continued their genetic excavations, this time deep in the underwater caves of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, they made another astonishing find. The skeletal remains of a teenage girl, dubbed Naya, were discovered in a submerged cavern. Her remains are among the oldest ever found in the Americas, dating back over 12,000 years. What puzzled researchers was the shape of her skull. Naya's cranial features were strikingly different from those of today's Native Americans more closely resembling populations from Southeast Asia or even Polynesia. And yet, her mitochondrial DNA placed her squarely within the same genetic lineage as Anzaquan and modern indigenous Americans. How could this be? How could a person who looked so physically distinct be genetically related to the same ancestral population? This mystery suggested a broader, more diverse population of early migrants than previously thought. Perhaps the first people to populate the Americas weren't a homogenous group, but rather a collection of distinct tribes and peoples, each bringing unique physical and cultural traits. But then the plot thickens far deeper into the southern reaches of the Americas. In the dense, unforgiving jungles of the Amazon rainforest, scientists unearthed yet another surprise. DNA from ancient human remains showed a genetic signal unlike anything they expected. Within some indigenous groups in the Amazon, researchers found traces of ancestry that seemed to originate from Australasia, specifically populations related to those in Papua New Guinea, Australia, and the Andaman Islands. This groundbreaking discovery sparked a flurry of questions. How could people with ancestral ties to such distant lands separated by oceans end up in the heart of South America thousands of years ago? One possibility is that there were multiple waves of migration to the Americas, not just over land but by sea. Perhaps some ancient people mastered maritime travel earlier than we've ever imagined, sailing along Pacific coastlines or island hopping across the ocean. It's a bold theory but one that finds increasing support in archaeological and genetic evidence. And the surprises don't stop there. In the crystal-clear waters surrounding the Caribbean islands, archaeologists uncovered bones that held secrets to a dynamic and shifting population history. The DNA extracted from these ancient skeletons revealed to distinct migratory waves. The first settlers were likely hunter-gatherers, stone tool users who arrived thousands of years ago. They lived off the sea and forest, adapting to island life. 
Then, a second wave of migration this time from the northern reaches of South America brought agricultural practices, pottery, and a new genetic signature. These groups didn't simply replace the earlier ones they mingled, merged, and built the cultural foundations of what we now recognize as the Caribbean's earliest civilizations. Across the entire Western Hemisphere, the genetic story continues to grow richer. From Canada's icy tundras to the deserts of Chile, from Florida's swamps to the Peruvian highlands, ancient DNA tells us that the first Americans were not a single people but a vast mosaic of cultures. Some traveled slowly, over generations. Others may have arrived swiftly, over the sea. They brought different languages, beliefs, tools, and traditions. Yet they all shared one thing, an extraordinary will to explore, to adapt, and to survive. And these aren't just abstract stories of the distant past, they are the roots of living cultures. Many of today's Native American, First Nations, and indigenous communities carry within them the legacy of these first migrations. Their languages, spiritual beliefs, and oral histories continue to preserve the richness of this human journey. As we reflect on this ever-evolving story, we must also recognize how much more there is to learn. For every discovery, a hundred new questions emerge. What other migration routes remain hidden beneath layers of sediment? What tools or artifacts have yet to be found in untouched caves or ocean floors? One thing is certain, history is not set in stone. It's a living, breathing narrative shaped by new evidence, new perspectives, and the enduring human desire to understand where we come from. And so we invite you curious minds, explorers of knowledge, to continue this journey with us. The past is not just a collection of old bones and forgotten ruins. It's the story of us, all of us. A story written not just in books, but in our very DNA. Subscribe to SCI Discovery Chronicles and join us as we uncover the secrets buried deep in time layer by layer, clue by clue. Like the ancient explorers who crossed oceans and ice, your journey of discovery is just beginning.